Good morning, everyone, and thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. Now, how could a flower as beautiful as an orchid possibly be the source of greed and betrayal? Well, you'll find the answer to that in the latest book written by award-winning author Craig Pittman. His book shows how people can become so obsessed with beauty, fame, and profit that they will ignore anything, including the law, to get it. Craig, thank you for joining me this morning. Well, thank morning. you for inviting me. Now, your book is all about the wild world of orchid smuggling, isn't it, Craig? Yes, yes. That is something so new to me. I had never heard of that. It's, it's a really bizarre thing. As far as I know, this is the only book ever classified as true crime slash gardening. Mm -hmm. Now, how did you uncover this story, Craig? Well, uh, I'm a reporter for the Tampa Bay Times, which is mm -hmm. Florida's largest newspaper. And I covered the case for the paper initially uh, and then wrote a longer magazine piece about it. Um, I cover environmental issues for the paper, which means I get to cover all kinds of weird stuff like pythons battling alligators in the Everglades. But this, by far, is the strangest story I have covered. And because when you found this story, you thought it was so strange, you had to write a book about it. Yes, definitely. definitely. Now, let's talk a little bit about this orchid that the book revolves around. Isn't it like a, ten, how much, $10,000 orchid? They were selling it for $10,000 a plant on the black market. Wow. And it, which is just astounding, but there were people willing to pay that much to have something so spectacular and say, this is mine, I have it. Mm -hmm. And now what all happens in your book then, Craig? What all do you, I guess, what does it all revolve around besides um, just the orchid? <laughs> well, um, uh, it sort of starts off by telling about um, the people who are interested in orchids, that mm -hmm. uh, there's a long history of people being obsessed with orchids. Confucius was a big or orchid fan. Mm -hmm. Charles Darwin was a big fan of orchids, uh, and actually the book he wrote after The Origin of the Species was a book about orchids. Um, and the the folks who are into orchids, some of them are very happy with whatever they can get at you know, the local gardening supply place, but some people, as with people who collect uh, artwork or uh, coins, etc., they have to have the rarest thing, the one that nobody else has. And so that sort of became the focus of my book, is these people who are willing to pay top dollar and then the the ones who supply them with, with it by smuggling the orchids uh, out of South America and bringing them in through Miami and, mm -hmm. and, and selling them and uh, what happens with that. Mm -hmm. Now when people picked up your book, when they started reading it, were they so shocked too that this is actually going on? Oh yes, definitely, definitely. And I've heard, it's interesting, I've heard from a lot of people in the orchid world who mm -hmm. said, you know, I had heard a little bit about this story before but I had no idea about everything that went on with this. This is in incredible. Mm -hmm. Now did you kind of have a goal with this book, Craig, something you wanted to happen after it was out on the market? You mean besides people buying it? <laughs> yes, I know that was the number one yes, goal. Yes. Uh, well, I think, um, I think it's a book where um, I was just trying to tell an interesting story and to let people know too that there are uh, rules that are supposed to protect endangered species and sometimes those rules don't work out quite the way we expect them to. Mm -hmm. Now, Craig, you've written a number of other books, and we're going to take a quick break right now, but when we return from these messages, we're going to talk about some of those books that you've written. Stay Great. with us. We'll be right back.